Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the BoxyCharm Premium for the month of September. So stay tuned and find out what is in this month's box. Alright guys, so like I said in the intro, we're going to be doing an unboxing of BoxyCharm Premium's September 2020 box. This month, it is Glam Vibes Only is the theme of the month. And this is variation number 11. So, with all that said, let's open up the box and see what's inside. So, before we get into the items, BoxyCharm Premium is a $35 a month subscription. And you get six full-size items to try out and you get them from name brand companies uh, luxury brands some independent brands it's a variation of things you can get skincare you can get makeup sometimes there's hair care in here you know just never know but anyway so let's get into the into the box and see what we have so i'm going to pull out this um very crushed item right here this is from milk makeup by the way like nothing in the box is crushed so anyway this is from milk makeup and it is the kush lip scrub and this is what the packaging looks like and you open it up and it's just like a balm kind of thing but it is a lip scrub which is cool has nice magnetic closure and we're gonna look on the card and it says milk makeup kush lip scrub an exfoliating conditioning lip scrub made with natural sugar crystals and hemp stem exfoliates for softer smoother and more moisturized lips shea cocoa and mango butters soften lips seal in moisture and improve texture and this retails for 22 dollars not an exorbitantly high price but when you can get jeffree star lip scrubs for i think 12 dollars 22 is a little up there moving on next item in the box we're going to pull out is from stila this is the stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in vivid sapphire get it out of the box okay so this is what the component looks like just like clean black packaging with the gold print and this is actually a blue eyeliner which is a variation and a, it's also very different from what you usually get in subscription boxes you usually get black so to have blue would be a very good change and something different. So, Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. Smudge Stick is available in an array of shades that stay, not stray, for reliable color payoff that's second to none. Moisturizing ingredients ensure color glides on smooth and the waterproof formula won't budge or fade. What's more, it can be used as a classic pencil liner or a smudgy eyeshadow. And this retails for $22, which is steep, but I am finding that the more expensive ones, if you have watery eyes like me, tend to stay. Um, as you guys know, last month I got this Milk Makeup Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in Nude, which was also something you don't usually get but this actually stays pretty well and I have the Kat Von D cake pencil in white out which is just a white eyeliner I purchased this one and it stays very well but a lot of other um, eyeliners like color pop and things like that nature do not stay in my waterline whatsoever urban decay doesn't several don't <laughs> but moving on so next thing in the box is 
a kitsch cleanse ritual this is ice roller for your overworked sensitive skin it's made with surgical steel roller so of course i didn't check any of these to see if they had seals on them and this one has a seal and the seal seems to be stronger than the box we will power on so this is supposed to help with lymphatic drainage and it just looks like a big steel roller it says thoroughly cleanse and dry the skin remove the ice roller from the freezer and follow and allow to set for a few minutes for additional benefits apply your favorite serum or sheet mask so that's interesting. So you actually have to put this in the freezer. I wonder how that's going to go around my house. But looking at the Kitsch ice roller, it says the ice roller is our new at home facial made with high quality surgical stainless steel. It helps calm inflammation, increase blood circulation, and alleviate sore muscles, tension, and headaches. Recommended daily use for the best results and retails for $18 for a roller that's actually not that bad. So that's actually a good price. So now we're going to go on to the next product in here, which also has a seal. I mean, great seals mean that everything is closed and secured and not been tampered with, but they can be a little annoying for unboxing. So Emma Hardy Brilliance Facial Oil Overnight Treatment Increases Moisture Levels, Increases Elasticity, Balances the Skin, and Antioxidant Protection. Unfortunately, this is not going to be something I can use because I have combination leaning oily skin and oil with an oily skin does not help. But it is a very nice glass packaging and the lid does feel a little cheap but it has the nice little squeezy top. So let's look at this. Emma Hardy's Brilliance Facial Oil. Hydrating and lightweight, the Brilliance Facial Oil from Emma Hardy massages deep into your skin so you can achieve a natural looking glow. Multi-active, this formula is created, um, is crafted with potent essential oils that smooth and purify skin with chamomile oil offers antioxidant protection from free radical damage and this retails for $55. So something in the box that I can't use retails for $55, of course. Now, I don't know which item to pull out next, so I'm just going to go on and pull out this one. This is from Marc Jacobs. These are the Dew Drops, and this is in the shade 50 Do You. And that's what it looks like. These have very sleek packaging to them. I've never owned anything from Marc Jacobs, and... I like getting things that are like in-demand items. So it comes with a nice little pumper. I'm just going to pump out a little. Oh, I didn't mean to pump out that much, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, there's so much product. So much product. Just one little squirt. But it does have like a sun screen kind of that is very pretty that is very 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 pretty and shiny and actually the correct shade for me it's amazing life is beautiful okay so let's look at the card mark jacobs beauty dew drops coconut i don't smell coconut i smell sunscreen 
Coconut Gel Highlighter. Give your highlight a spot of skincare inspired by Marc Jacobs' love of coconut water and the glow of youthful, radiant, well-hydrated skin. This luminous gel cream instantly lights up your complexion, directly highlights skin, or blend this concentrated luminizer with foundation and primer to transform them into illuminating elixirs a little goes a long way these gel highlighters build for the ultimate sheen and the sensual warm rose gold hue flatters all skin tones with warm radiance five forms of coconut and pro vitamin b5 help hydrate and nourish the skin you do you and this retails for $45. So the face oil from someone I've never heard of is $10 more than the Marc Jacobs item that everybody's heard of. Hmm. But I am excited about that. Still smells like, like sunscreen, but you know, we will see. That is so shiny. So shiny, so shiny. Okay, sorry distracted by highlighter and the last item in the box is the queen a queen lies in all of us by eloise palette so it says there's 20 pigment this is a 20 pigment palette in four stunning textures eight buttery mattes six shimmers one pressed pearl four metallics and one duochrome topper so this is what the packaging looks like. It looks like the outer carton. And we're gonna open this up. Has a nice big mirror. And these are all of the shades. Very small pan sizes, like tiny pan sizes. Like this is my like beginning blending brush that I use. And my brush is almost as big as the pan. So that's interesting. But we are going to swatch and see what this looks like. There's a lot of color in here. There are a couple of more like toned down colors and there are some very beautiful colors like this like turquoisey color is amazing. So we're just going to go straight across. So we're going to start with Empire, Sheba, Kingdom, and My Lady and Curtsy if I could speak today. Now, feeling these, they feel quite nice. So we have Empire, Sheba, Kingdom, and Milady, which is kind of funny because, all right, I know I'm like seriously far behind, but I am watching King of Thrones. I just spent three and a half years working as a 911 operator. I never had time to watch TV. So I'm getting caught up on things and I'm watching King of Thrones, so my lady is kind of funny. So then we're gonna go to Curtsy, Throne, Powerful, and Jewels. I mean, these are swatching beautifully and those shimmer shades are gorgeous. Okay, so then we're going to go to Rainy, Empress, Majesty, and Queen. Everything is swatching very well, and I'm not like, I do like one swipe around and one swipe down, so. Alright, then we're going to go on to Your Highness. Elizabeth, Crown, and Monarch there. And the last four. So then we're going to go on to Honorable, Amina, Regal, and Sovereign, which is like, in the pan it looks beautiful, and right there it looks beautiful. So, I 
did experience a bit of patchiness on this shade, which is Regal. It's like a, a kind of off color purple. It looks like it would be deeper, but it's coming off as a very lavender right here. And Amina had initial really good pigment, pigment and then kind of faded away. I don't know how that would perform on the eyes, but these are the shades in the palette. It's a very interesting palette. Um, again, pan sizes are really tiny, but there are a bunch of different shades, so you can do a bunch of different looks. And so I will be trying this out and let you guys know what I think about it on the eyes versus the swatches in another video. So let's read what it says on the card. So. Eloise Beauty, the Queen Eyeshadow Palette. The Queen Palette possesses immense energy of life, femininity, and strength. Each color tells a story. Each color holds infinite power and carries a unique narrative. Our highly pigmented colors, which are suitable for all ranges of skin tones, are inspired by stories, tales, and legends of kingdoms, taking you through a journey in time from the past to the present. An era of femininity, grace, and power. The queen lies in us all. And this retails for $46. So let's go back through everything that we received in the box. So we have the Milk Lip Scrub, we have the Stila Eyeliner, we have the Kitsch Ice Roller, we have the Emma Hardy Face Oil, we have the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops, and we have the Ellis, Eloise Beauty, the Queen Palette. So, what do I think about this month's box? I'm actually quite happy. There's really only one product in here that I can't use. I'm going to be trying out the Marc, <clears throat> the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in a couple of different ways. Lip scrubs are great. I have used Jeffree Star's lip scrubs, but trying another, you know, formulation is not a bad idea. I'm excited to see if this eyeliner will actually stay in my waterline. We shall see. New face gadgets for your skin routine are always great and it's always awesome that you can get them in these kind of boxes so you don't have to spend out that money in case it doesn't work. I always like getting eyeshadow palettes. Now with this one, I wish that this color scheme was a little bit mo more coherent. It kind of like bounces. Like some of it's very coherent. You have a lot of pinks, you have some purples, but then you have like these weird, like this tur turquoise shade is just boom out of nowhere. And then you have like your like more brownish tones. It's a little all over the place, but I wish the pan sizes were bigger, but I am excited to try it out. So all in all, pretty good, a pretty good box. So I'm going to go do some math and be right back. Okay guys, so I've done the math and added everything together. This box has $208 worth of value. Do I believe that? Yes, I do. Everything seems to be very good quality. They're from very name brand companies. And so $208, way to go. Okay, so the box is $35. Take 35 from $208 and you come out with $173 worth of free product. Only thing in here that you could get for $35 is you could buy this by itself. You can buy this by itself, or you can buy this by itself. Everything else is over that price. One product in here not only pays for the cost of the box, but there would be some change left over, which is great and worth the value. So with that said, guys, leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this month's box. Do you get it? Do you enjoy it? What did you think of the products? What do you think of I, what I got? What did you get? What did you think of it? Leave all that down in the comment section. As far as the description box, all the prices were left on the screen throughout the video, so they will not be listed in the description box. But there are four ways to support this channel, and if you could, please do. It is Patreon, PayPal, Minds, and K. 
Cash app. Also, all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and email are all linked down below. So go follow me on those platforms. You can reach out to me privately if you would like. And with all that said, guys, that ends today's video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.